We start with the big story. As China tries to tighten its grip on Hong Kong, protests have now resumed on the streets of the financial hub. As anger grows in the city-state over the controversial national security laws that the Chinese Communist government is planning to impose on Hong Kong. On your screens are visuals of what is happening right now in the city-state. These visuals on your screens are very net reminiscent of six-month-long protests that had gripped Hong Kong last year. The shopping district of Causeway Bay is bustling again with protesters. Hundreds have effectively defied social distancing restrictions to gather as police conduct stop and search operations. Riot police, armored vehicles and water cannons have been deployed across the city. Riot police, in some instances, even fired tear gas shells at these pro-democracy protesters. Police were also seen firing tear gas to disperse the large number of protesters. And it's just an announcement of the era of one country, one system. And we must stand up and fight and to let Beijing to know that we will never surrender. And today, more than thousand Hong Kongers gather on street again is to prove that we will fight back. National security law is even more damaging and harmful than the extradition bill last year introduced by the government. And now, when time is running out in Hong Kong, or now, or we would describe as the beginning of the end. Now, we don't have enough time, but we still need to continue the fight. A small group of democracy activists even protested outside Beijing's liaison office, chanting national security law is destroying two systems. China's move now sparks concerns over Hong Kong's one country, two systems principle. The system has governed Hong Kong since the former UK colonies returned to Chinese rule in 1997. Now that guarantees Hong Kong broad freedoms, that is the one country, two systems rule guarantees Hong Kong broad freedoms like free press and an independent judiciary which are absent in mainland China under its communist party. But uh, once again we have seen thousands and thousands of pro-democracy protesters who are out once again on the streets after Beijing is attempting to circumvent Hong Kong's elected legislators and pass this national security law. Anti-government protests escalated in just in June last year, plunging the city-state into its biggest political crisis in decades. The last few months have been...